This podcast is brought to you by the School of Advanced Study, University of London. Amitav, you're originally a, um, a Foreign Service Officer of uh, India and were a, a High Commissioner, uh, but you came into the Secretary General's office in 2000 to work with the new Secretary General, Don McKinnon, and you did that for eight years. How effective do you feel that your work was, the work of that office was at that time? Well, I think the work of the office is probably best judged by the work of the Secretary General himself that we supported and the contribution that he made. Um, every Secretary General has different things to talk about uh, by way of contributions. I think in McKinnon's time, what is best known is the, is the whole Zimbabwe issue and how it was handled, how it had to be handled differently because governments were divided over it, so it was handed over to a Troika and the Secretary General played a very key role in convening that Troika and in perhaps advising that Troika in the direction that led to Zimbabwe being suspended in very contentious circumstances and eventually uh, being resuspended in Zimbabwe leading. But what is less well known from um, Don McKinnon's time is some of the work that he did on the development side because he sold himself as a candidate center for small states. Although he was from the Pacific, he was from the old Commonwealth, he very much flew the flag of small states. He did battle with the OECD. Uh, on what was called harmful taxation, where small states and the Commonwealth were being targeted for allowing money laundering, and uh, he uh, felt that was invidious and felt that um, diversification was one thing that the small states needed to do. Um, apart from money laundering not being in any way the monopoly of certain small states. Um, but also in areas such as health and education, it was in McKinnon's time people forget that a protocol was negotiated by the Commonwealth for health workers going from developing countries to developed countries, and also teachers, for primary school teachers. So he he uh, actually focused quite strongly on these because he knew that uh, Unless he was of value to the developing countries and the small states that supported him, they would feel let down, and he genuinely believed in development. 